In this video, I'll show you how to find the Wi-Fi password of your Epson EcoTank L3252, L3156, 3256, 3150 and many, many other models. So let's get started right away. So for the first step, make sure that the printer is turned on and then you need to press and hold the Wi-Fi button and the iNetwork button, both of them at the same time for about four seconds until you see the two lights on the left side flashing. Then you can release those two buttons. Then you just have to wait because those lights will keep flashing for a few seconds and they will stop. They will just stay on. Next, you need to make sure that there is some paper loaded inside of your printer. So for step number two, you just have to keep press the I network button for around seven seconds. The printer will then start printing the network status sheet. There may be two sheets that get printed, but we just need the first one. And on the first one, you should see around in the middle of the page, Wi-Fi direct. And then you should see SSID under it. This will give you the name of your printer, the Wi-Fi network of your printer, and then under it, the password that you're looking for. After finding those, go ahead and download the Epson Smart Panel app from the App Store or the Android Play Store. Then you need to go into the Wi-Fi menu of your phone or computer. And from that list, you should find the name of your printer that you just got a few seconds ago. Go ahead, tap on it, and then type the password that you got. Close this and open the Epson app you downloaded. On the first screen, it should ask you which printer do you have. And in the list there, you should see the name of your printer. You just have to tap on it to confirm. And finally, you'll have access to the app to print wirelessly using the Wi-Fi Direct network of your Epson EcoTank printer. Go ahead and use it. If this tutorial was useful to you, please take a moment and leave a like, subscribe, and also write a comment down below. It's very important and it helps my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.